Hello friends, welcome to my channel Code Blocks. In this video, I want to discuss another Wipro Daily Next problem solution, and the problem is we um, form to password. Okay, so you are given with two inputs first input an array of numbers, and the second input is size of the array. And your task is to find a password. The password consists of two parts one is part one, and another is part two. Part one means you have to find the second highest number, you have to find the number that occurs second highest number of times, and part two is the number that occurs highest number of times. Okay, and you have to re remind one thing if more than one number occurs same time, then we have to choose greater value. That means if five and twelve both occurs three times, okay both occur three times then we have to choose 12 because we are reminded here in the question they asked um, they told that if more than one number occur same times we have to choose the greater value okay so the main logic is uh, here first of all we have to find the maximum value from the array maximum value from uh, from the array first task and the second task is to find create a frequency array with uh, size is max that means in the first step we have we have to find the maximum value from the array and the next step we have to create a frequency array with size is maximum value okay that uh, that can found in the uh, that uh, we are found the max value in the first step and the third step we have to count frequency of numbers count frequencies of numbers okay and the next step after that and that means the fourth step okay in the fourth step we have to traverse the array from i is equal to zero that means the frequency array okay i less than max i plus plus and we have to find our largest uh, that means the highest frequency value and second highest and second highest frequency value okay so this is the main logic remember one thing the we have first of all we have to find the maximum value from the array and then we have to create a frequency array with size maximum value that value we are we are finding from the array and then we have to count the frequency of the numbers and last of all we have to find the highest frequency uh, and the second highest frequency Now comes to coding section okay so our first task is to find the maximum number from the array so that's why i have to take a variable initial and, and that and and initialize with array of zero and then we have to take a for loop integer i is equal to one less than i plus plus and now we have to check if array of i greater than max or not if it greater than max then the maximum value is becomes array of i now after finding the maximum value we have to create a frequency array with size is maximum value that means that uh, maximum value from the array okay uh, so integer frequency new size is maximum value that uh, from the array and after that using for each loop we have to um, count the frequency of the array numbers and store the into the frequency array okay frequency of i minus 1 plus plus okay so i think you have not understand these things okay so this is for each loop 
and using this loop we are counting the frequencies of this numbers inside this frequency array okay so this means frequency of i minus 1 is equal to frequency of i minus 1 plus 1 okay we are increasing the uh, increasing by 1 okay so here we found the first of all the number is 12 okay so basically we storing the frequency of the 12 at 11th position okay that means frequency of 12 minus 1 that is 11 okay at 11th position we are storing the frequency of 12 initially it's 0 and but but uh, after founding the 12 bits we are its frequency is 1 okay in this way we are storing the frequency of 2 at 1 position okay and last of all uh, we are storing the frequency of 217 at 216th position okay so in this way we are storing uh, the frequency of the numbers and the size of the frequency arrays i told you before that the maximum that means here is 200 is 100 uh, 217 okay this is the size of the our maximum uh, the our frequency array so i think you are understand uh, this uh, for each loop and uh, and uh, and how to store uh, the frequency of the numbers into this frequency array okay and one more thing at the um, that means at the position 11 1 35 9 216 35 and uh, uh, it's 4 and 14 except this position of frequency array except this position of frequency array all the positions are except this all the positions are by default zero okay all the position the value are by default zero in the frequency array okay and in this position we are just storing the frequency of these numbers okay now this is the last stage that means uh, we have to create uh, we have to declare and initialize two variable that means uh, high occurrence uh, to find the occur uh, max highest occurrence and second highest occurrence okay so highest occurrence and initialize with zero and second highest occurrence this will be initialized with zero okay and now we have to take a for loop uh, to traverse the um, uh, frequency area from i is equal to 0 to i less than max i plus plus and now we have to check if frequency of i is greater than 0 obviously it must be uh, if it is greater than 0 and then we have to check another thing that the frequency of i greater than frequency of um, highest highest token okay if it is highest token that means the um, initially the highest token is 0 and the frequency of at 0 position is towards 0 I told you earlier that the um, that the particular some position except all that particular some position all the other position the frequency at is stored zero okay if it is greater than that means we have to check another thing that if uh, and here we have to uh, in is uh, greater than equals to we have to put equals to because uh, we have to find the uh if um, if any numbers occur same time of uh, same time of occurrence if any numbers have same type of occurrence then in that case we have to choose the maximum value okay that's why we have to put here equals to and now frequency frequency of i if it is not equals to frequency of high occurrence then we have to initialize second occur high occurrence is equal to high occurrence and after that the high occurrence becomes equals to i and now we have to check uh, if else loop else if loop sorry else if 
and here we have to check again frequency of i which is greater than zero and again we have to check another one uh, frequency of i greater than equals to because we have to choose the maximum value okay always if a same number time same time of occurrence we have to choose the greater value frequency of second high occurrence then second high occurrence becomes i okay and uh, finally we have to return a string okay and that contains from the first of all the second high, high occurrence uh, number and after that we have to attach to it this the first occurrence uh, first uh, highest occurrence number okay so return and you can uh, store this uh, two in a in a string or you can directly return it okay so second high occurrence plus one here we are giving uh, one thing okay and highest occurrence plus one okay so here we are using we are here addition one more one more because we store we can store the frequency of the numbers at i minus one position okay that's why we are giving here plus one because to find the correct number and now check output so the size of the array is 10 and after that i have to put all other numbers okay i am giving all other numbers uh, array numbers and now so this is our 10 and 36 because 10 occurs second highest occurrence and 36 occurs the highest occurrence so this is our out so this is the program and the code will be available in the description you can download in the video part